First of all, he was famous for his books, Shmirat Shabbat Kilchata, that everyone has a joke that you could find all over the world, Coca-Cola, and also the Sefer of Rav Noivich, Shmirat Shabbat Kilchata, which was also translated into English by one of his Talmidim, and the personal connection that I had with the Rav is that he was one of the poskim of the hospital, and therefore in a hospital the size of Shavit Sedek, obviously a lot of um, a, a lot of halachic questions come up, and we discussed it with him, and he was always available for us. He found Shavit Sedek an important place as a religious hospital, and therefore he always gave us his time. And one of the characteristics of the Rav that you mentioned was his modesty, that he was a person who ran away from COVID and still the COVID ran after him. He didn't wear a rabbinical levush, not a rabbinical hat. He didn't look for the Mizrach, but he got the COVID that he deserved. And he's accepted in all the Chugim. Today there's a lot of politics, but Rav Neubert is one of the few, unfortunately, who was accepted in all the Chugim, whether they're Litvish, Hasidic, uh, Zionistic, etc. He was accepted by all the Chugim as, a, as the main, as a top Paisek in Chod Shabbat. And I know personally, the, and he was a Talmud of Rav Zaman Orbach, but I also witnessed the unbelievable COVID that Rabbi Yoshi Zatzal used to give Rav Neurit when he came. He cared about people and there was a lot of people he helped. He had a very famous gemach um, for a free loan society that he was extremely makbid on his rules and you couldn't bend the rules, you have to give it back on time. If someone signed as a guarantor, if the other person didn't return the loan, he would go to the guarantor. He was a yek and he ran it that way also. The feeling today is we're losing a Rav that is, will be very, very hard to replace now.